Hello, I am Meredith. I am here with our message for Thursday, April 13th, 2023. We're using Sawyer's Path Tarot for our message today. The sun's in Aries, the moon's in Aquarius. And we're going to make the most out of what tarot has to offer. <laughs> Let's see. Our first card is Four of Cups. Count your blessings. Stable environment here with a four. Weren't the fours pretty profound yesterday? That was amazing. I uh, hope you caught that video. Uh, anyway, four of cups. An unexpected blessing incoming. Something we do not see coming. And the sun is shining on it. And the sun is popping out of those clouds there. So I have a feeling that some of us may have been entertaining some less than favorable energies Maybe the sky was a bit cloudy for us. We could not see the forest for the trees within our own selves. And there's some surprise and delight on that incoming Ace of Cups here on the four. So Four of Cups is a card traditionally of apathy. You see the character sitting under a tree, kind of pouting, <laughs> looking less than uh, fulfilled. In that moment, though, I feel this card is about reverence and savoring. And I feel that's the true posture of the character on the card because here's a little bit of a close up. That looks like a meditative pose to me. I see gratitude. I see appreciation for what for what is. And what has come to pass. And because we're in that energy on this card, we're making way for more. And it's more that we don't necessarily expect because we're living in such a beautiful overflow of the Ace of Cups already on this card. Let's see what comes next. Four of Swords. Rest and relaxation, preparation for what comes next. This is a really beautiful combination of cards because here we are on the Four of Cups in a savoring posture. Then here we are in the Four of Swords, somewhat in a savoring posture. I feel like there's some daydreaming going on, at least some dreaming going on. And I feel that it's the appreciation and the gratitude, the light of the sun, the brilliant clarity, the great happiness, that is being invested in what we're dreaming into the now, dreaming awake into the now. Let's see what's next. Yeah, Knight of Cups now, and we are in momentum with it. Preparation, Knights move energy between cards. So we're, we're packing all this up, putting it in our Ace of Cups, handing it off to the Knight and moving into what comes next, something that we're stable of thought and emotion about and moving on to another phase. We have a set of four that came out of the shuffle, the first of which is <laughs> the death card. Talk about change and transformation. There it is. Hello, Scorpio. This is an ending and a beginning. So we're we're changing things up. We're switching things up. We're transforming our current set of circumstances. Coming with this card, look at this, the Six of Swords. So here we have a ship on the ocean. Here we have a boat on the water. So we are absolutely in momentum. And look, here we have the sun popping out again over here on this card. We've got the sun rising and or setting on this card. <laughs> However you choose to see that, what's most appropriate to you. And we're bringing our Ace of Cups with us, wherever we're going. Where are we headed? The next one in the set is the Ten of Coins. Beautiful. This is the everything card. This is, this is all of it. And this is why we're counting our blessings over here. Because this is home, hearth, family, love, community. It's everything. It's a great card of fulfillment. And this is why we invest in our dreams. Now, I did do an earlier shuffle with a different deck. And the cards were very convoluted. 
So I moved on to this deck. And one of the cards that popped out was the Three of Pentacles, building something that lasts. And I feel that we are in appreciation for all that we have been investing in everything that we create and how we share that, with whom we share that, where we spend our energy, with, with those near and dear to us that we share all of that with, that they share with us. That's the everything here on the Ten of Coins. So this is why we're shaking things up. Yesterday we saw the tower. It was our first card. It was supported by the Four of Wands tremendously in the reading. Uh, so we're in a very stable environment, which we're being shown yet again today with these two fours popping out first. So we're emotionally balanced. We are in harmony with our thoughts and how we express our thoughts and our feelings to the divine all. And I feel that this Knight of Cups is... It's, it's like pulling the chariot. I feel like the universe has us and it's taking us exactly where we'd like to go transformatively. So in the death card, the six of swords into the 10 of coins, what comes next in this set? Wow. Look at that. Ace of swords, everlasting strength, brilliant clarity, a new beginning and a fresh start. This feels like the change that we're making here with the death card. We're very interested in investing in transformation. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're seeing it in the six. You know, we're moving from one situation and set of circumstances to another deliberately. We've chosen to change our own inner landscape. And this is giving us greater clarity and greater strength because we're We have prepared profoundly for this 10 of coins and we are living this 10 of coins in the now. And the strength of this ace of swords is what we're broadcasting into the oncoming to create more of this. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, bottom of the deck, what's in the unseen? Well, here it is again, the Nine of Swords. You know what this card is about, right? We know it's the anxiety card. It showed up in yesterday's reading. And this is every challenging, potentially negative thought that can have us freeze <laughs> right where we stand and not go into this beautiful flow. And I feel that we're challenging our Nine of Swords in a big way. We did it yesterday with the Tower and the Four of Wands and all the other cards that came out in support of that. Uh, so my sense of it is that right alongside all of this beautiful transformative energy is everything we fear. And every negative thing we've said to ourselves about our value, our self-worth, and everything we've taken personally. Yeah, that card's no joke, right? The thing is, it's not, it doesn't have the power to stand on its own because we're challenging it constantly. As soon as it pops up, we're addressing it. It's not comfortable, though change rarely is. And my feeling is we're prepared, Four of Swords, for the changes we wish to enjoy through the transformation of the Death card because the reward is the celebration of this Ten of Coins in the now and the oncoming. So whatever's popping up for you in your Nine of Swords, its day has come. That's what I hear. Because we're in reverence, we're in savoring what's precious and true and right for us on our foundation. And this Nine of Swords has to go. Followed by the Justice card. You know, at one time, this card was called uh, Prudence. And at another time, it was called Mercy. <laughs> 
So have mercy on yourself. It's the prudent thing to do. <laughs> You've got the nine of swords here. Balance your scales, harmonize. Take the posture of the four of cups over here and remain in awareness for what has come to pass and what you have made way for and the, the potential for the surprise, the delight of the happiness that the sun brings in its presence in the reading here. Have mercy on your nine of swords. It's passing. And it is definitely passing because the death card is here. This is something that is passing away from and off of your foundation. And while it may be uncomfortable, there may be some emotional response to that. Allow that to happen so that it can be complete and done. <laughs> Let go of. And look at this. Here's the Wheel of Fortune, the Divine Delivery System. We're aligning with our destiny, and this is why we're balancing our scales here. This is why we're in uh, gratitude and appreciation on the four, because we can feel the transformation that we are in. We can feel the sharpness of these nine swords, though there's gratitude there, because with the ace, we have the ten. We've come to some level of self-mastery and self-relationship where mercy is easily accessed. <laughs> We don't have to torture ourselves. Then we have three of cups, celebration. So that's that's reflected twice in the reading here with the four of cups. We've got the three of cups down here. This fourth one incoming with surprise, love, bliss, joy, happiness, overflow, unexpectedly so. Coming in a way we don't necessarily anticipate that creates this ten of coins. Then we have the Empress because this is what we have been nurturing and investing in for untold time, right? <laughs> oh, look, I was going to stop there with her. Uh, there's the chariot <laughs> kind of confirming our beautiful Knight of Cups over here. And I'll stop there. Our next card would be the Queen of Coins, Mother of the Material. Yeah, we've are, we've invested so beautifully that this wheel is bringing us into alignment and fulfillment of our Ten of Coins, which then inspires the Ace of Swords, a new beginning, a fresh start with great strength, great clarity for us to be able to take a look at these Nine of Swords from the past. This is past energy. And is it relevant? Does it have a place at your table? If not, it's being excused and dismissed and transformed. Thank you, Death Card. Let's take a look at Angel Answers. Great deck for answering your questions. Confirming something for you. Within the next few months. Hmm. I feel connected to the Empress card with this within the next few months. It is obviously a timing card out of Angel Answers. This typically, for me, intuitively means that this transformation is evolving over the next few months. You know, we are coming up on an eclipse. It's an unusual one. We'll talk more about it in readings to come. It's happening on the 20th. We have a solar eclipse peaceful resolution. Things are going to work out better than we know. Again, this is uh, that incoming ace on the four over there with our nine of swords. So, you know, the eclipse energy and Mercury going retrograde and, you know, Saturn having changed signs and Pluto the same. Uh, the energy atmosphere has certainly been stirred up, which can engage our nine of swords experiences in life. And we may be running through those right now and feeling them succinctly and we're ready for the transformation there there is peace in the transformation as we evolve through these unique energies over the next few months mercury's going to go retrograde on the 21st and will be there till the 14th of may some of you are already feeling this and my sense of it is the transformational aspect of the retrograde is 
what we're already feeling. So it may intensify, folks. Be prepared for that and ask for help from others. Talk to your guides, your angels, your ancestors. Talk about what's on your heart, in your thoughts. Share that with the people nearest and dearest to you. You may be surprised at what they have to share in return. One more. <laughs> I love when that happens. There's the communicate clearly card. Yeah, no verbal clutter. Speak your hearts. Speak speak your feels uh, with those most important to you. Ask questions too. That's a card that reminds us to ask questions and to verify that we have understood what's been shared. Final word on the reading, Shaman's Dream Oracle. How is our soulful presence informing our waking consciousness? Garden of Venus. <laughs> Rest and renewal. Perfect confirmation to the Four of Swords there in the reading. Yeah, take it easy. Meditate. Relax. Uh, there is no sense of urgency in this energy here. There is peace. There is calm in this energy. While those nine swords may be sharp and uncomfortable, they are worthy of our attention in terms of letting go of that energy because it has no place at the table on the ten of coins in the reading. And that's why the death card is here. It's here to make transformation so that we can have brilliant clarity, everlasting strength, and move on without hesitation, with great determination on everything that we've been nurturing and holding in heart space. The time is now for what's in our heart space. The energy atmosphere is receptive to what is there. So let's plant our seeds and let's go dynamically into the fulfillment wheel of fortune of our destiny and our dreams. Have a beautiful Thursday, everyone. Peace, love, joy, happiness. Namaste.